Anime God here, and today we're continuing What If Naruto Was in the Kaguya Ken, this is chapter 4. I changed the name from What If Naruto Had Kimi Mars Kai because I feel like that name was a little bit more complicated than it needed to be, and I feel like it just looks better on screen with the Kaguya Ken. Um, I left you guys off on a pretty massive cliffhanger, so, um, shout out to the Demon X, and, um, yeah, let's get into the video after that intro. So guys, basically we left off with Naruto about to fight Orochimaru after Naruto escaped from the snake with Sasuke and Hinata. So let's enter now. Naruto had just gotten done stabbing Orochimaru through the hand. He would then use his Taijutsu style to try to grab for one of his legs to injure his intestine. Orochimaru wouldn't let this happen as he did several backflips to get away. Sasuke would then use Phoenix Flower Jusu as well as Hinata charging in to use her gentle fist to try to shut down some Tenketsu. Naruto would then charge using the first gate with a sudden rush of speed that outpaced Orochimaru for a second, stabbing him, although Orochimaru substituted just barely in time. Sasuke would then use Fire Style Fireball Jutsu which would miss, and then Orochimaru would place his killing intent on top of Sasuke and Hinata and Naruto, although it only seemed to be working on Hinata and Sasuke as Naruto was used to higher levels of killing intent for Kakashi, Guy, and even the Kage himself. He would then cut both of them slightly, knocking them out of their trance. Hinata would then charge with Naruto, both running at him with all they had, Although Hinata is slower than Naruto, Naruto would keep pace with her side and keep their pincer maneuver. Naruto would then take his bone chains and wrap around them around, Nar around Orochimaru. Orochimaru would actually not be able to substitute out of this since they absorb any and all chakra. So leaving him open for Tenketsu to be closed by Hinata. Which she actually got done with the closing about 5. Two on the shoulder, four, two on each shoulder, and then one on the throat, making it harder for him to breathe. Orochimaru then bulldoze through his own Naruto's own chains, just out of pure strength alone. His neck would then come out and try to bite Naruto, although when he bit it, there was nothing. He felt hard bone as his teeth cracked. Naruto, in this case, actually has a bone armor under his skin, something very few Kaguya clan members had. Not even his father had it, and he was supposed to be one of the most gifted Kaguya clan members ever. This is something Orochimaru has only ever seen in Kimimaru, and so whenever he tried to put a curse mark on him, he just couldn't get through. It's like an excess skeleton right under his skin. He would then try going for Sasuke, who would actually defend himself pretty well since he has three tamoli in each eye. Using his enhanced foresight, not exactly foresight, but perception skills, he would then dodge, hitting Orochimaru with a kunai, stabbing him in the back. He's now wounded and decides to get away using the body flicker jutsu, getting away from them. The rest of them would then say, okay, well that was just an enemy ninja, we might as well keep going, we might as well head to the tower. Their team would then eventually get to the tower around four hours in, making, beating the previous record, but not Gaara's record. Still, a feat in its own right. They would then all be resting up for about four days. Naruto didn't really use much shocker considering they have the Kimi, the, the Kage clan is known for having high levels of stamina, not to mention being an Uzumaki giving him immense levels of stamina, chakra, power, full moves. Naruto would actually be trying to learn some more 
ways that he could regenerate his bones and use the eight gates more well as he was trying to unlock the seventh gate. And um, he has the six, he has one through six now unlocked, as well as a few more jutsu that I'll tell you during the training exams prolong. And Naruto, over this four days, honestly, just make sure he stays himself in shape. Make sure he's not getting any rustier than he already was, although he wasn't that rusty at all. Everyone else would eventually pass the same as normal, and then the fights would occur. The fights are going to be the same as canon, just because um, it's pretty late tonight, and I don't really have time to put through a random thing generator. So, um... I don't really see much anything changing except for Naruto's fight here. He completely stomps Kiba with no trouble. He probably would just tie his hand behind his back and then beat him one-handed. And um, also, Hinata has got a way closer fight with Neji. Neji's actually really beaten up after their fight, but he eventually still does win. But everyone else wins same, except for Sasuke wins way easier because he does not have curse mark yet. Yet. And so, um, they all win, and they all have a month and a week to train. I'm adding an extra week, just for a few things that might be happening over it. So Naruto still goes to train with Jiraiya, except for in this time he's not so foolish and actually knows that Jiraiya is, um, a very powerful Sanin and one of the most respected ninja ever. So he lets him teach him the summoning jutsu, which he learns how to get codes. He also learns how to call upon the fox's chakra by using his bone chains, which he already had down a little bit, but he just gets it over a mastery. So he's got about a one-tailed, he can barely control two-tailed state, but he has one-tailed completely mastered. And he also learns the Rasengan in this week, except for he tries to add bone release to it, it just hasn't been working yet. But he's going to try to add spikes of bone in it, so that way it shreds up the opponent as well cutting them through, not just hitting them with a massive ball of chakra. And, um, for the fights, they're all gonna be the same. It's gonna be Naruto versus Neji, Gaara versus Sasuke, Shikamaru versus Tamari, Conqueror's gonna forfeit. Then, um, the fights will just be the same from there. Now, um, for Sasuke's training, his training will actually be, um, a little bit more Taijutsu-based than normal. Because he actually was trying to learn the Chidori for a lot of it. But he's got three one Sharingan in both eyes. So he doesn't really need to develop his Sharingan that much. And so let's say he comes out two times faster than normal. And he can do the Chidori three times a day instead of two. And so now let's get on with the fights. It's Naruto versus Neji. Naruto completely stomps Neji even with his 363 defense. Naruto broke with a kunai. His bones are much stronger than kunai. And so he'll easily be able to do that, as well as being able to channel one chakra through him, as well as having the bone chains. Yeah, there's no way Neji is um, standing any chance against Naruto. Not in this universe. And then Shikamaru versus Tamari is the same. And then he goes up against Sasuke versus Gara. Sasuke would actually, um,. Have a similar fight than Cannon, except he'd be way faster and beat Gara way easier. And then the Konoha Crusher would then start. Sasuke would then follow Gara, who is being accompanied by Tamari and Konkuro. Shino would follow behind them, along with Naruto, who is not getting caught in this Genjutsu. Although I just make a few bone clones to go and dispel everyone. Bone clones are one of his newer techniques, so they're more powerful, the most powerful clones he has. Rivaling, probably, yeah, they're probably even stronger than wood clones, honestly. They're bone clones, and they're very powerful. Naruto would then chase after them, helping Shikamaru with those ninja, other than awesome having to help. He actually tells Sakura to stay behind, because she's just going to be a burden. She goes and def helps defeat Konkuro and Tamari pretty effortlessly, and then helps Sasuke defeat Gar by summoning Gamabunta and leaning the same way as Cannon, except for Sasuke actually doesn't really get all mad because he actually fade a very high roll by using the fire ninjutsu needed to use against that combo move that they were going to use. So Sasuke is the one who knights that and actually does a lot of damage 
and he and Naruto both talk no jutsu gara. And that's going to lead on to the Shinade retrieval arc, which we are going to cover in this one. So Itachi would enter the village, whooping basically everyone, putting all of them into immediate care. And then... And then Naruto would be on the move with Jiraiya. Except for instead of learning the Rasengan, in this he'd actually be learning the Wild, the wild Lion's main technique. Even if it's not needed because of his bones armor, it's always better to have a second backup just in case. So Naruto would actually be learning this technique because it can actually help him harden his bones as hair is actually dead skin cells and bones are made of your skin, not exactly skin cells, but cells of you body, which means he can maybe help him harden his bones. And so he'll probably be able to do that later with more experience. And um, when it comes to Tsunade, Naruto does not take kindly to her as she's pretty much an a-hole and um, he's actually got skill to back up his claims and so he's asked to fight her and um, she really underestimates him. He then powers up to the 6th gate which he knows in this one. He's not quite at the 7th gate but he does um, almost there. He can almost grasp it. He then uses the 6th gate, one-tailed kibi chakra, f phone, forms bones around his body making a bone cage around himself along with making a Rasengan in his hand. And he then charges Tsunade, who then says, Stop! Stop! I don't want to die! I don't want to die! She then says she'll come back to the leaf with them as long as he doesn't kill her. Naruto would then say, Okay, you don't need to stop disrespecting the Hokage. She would then say, Fine, alright, brat. Because um, in this case, Naruto would actually be stronger, because in the 60, that's 30... Six times his original power, along with the first form Kiwi Chakra, Rasengan, and his Kimimaro, um, and his Kagyo Ken, Keki Genkai, kicking in with the power boost. So, yeah, there's no way she'd be able to defeat him like that. At least, no way in any we could see. So, um, yeah, he gets her to come back, um, Although the um, Itachi thing still does happen, except for Naruto actually holds up against himself until Jiraiya gets there and actually uses the toad technique of the mouth. Which Naruto actually does know right now. He just didn't really think of using that thing since it's in one of his more newer techniques. You can also use that with like a bone thing, like the bone burial, except for just a lower scale. Itachi would then use the same technique to get out. And, um... That's the end of the Tsunami Retrieval arc with her fixing up Lee. And um, with that, guys, that's where I'm going to be ending this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really do like making this series. I want 10 likes um, for the next part coming up within my next five videos that I make. Um, if you don't hit the like goal, I'm just going to make sure it comes out after that. And um, tomorrow... Is gonna be what if Naruto had good chakra control part four or five? I can't really remember. And then, um, on talk away, I should be posting part four of what if Naruto was a star with Toby soon. And, um, yeah, so with all that being said, guys.